Relativistic collisions are so different and by the end of this video you will see exactly how. We have two protons that are moving with equal speeds towards each other and after colliding they continue to exist but another particle called the pion appears. We need to find the initial speed of the protons given that energy is conserved. In Einstein's theory of relativity the total energy of a particle is given by gamma mc squared where m is the mass of one proton. Because there's two of them moving at equal speeds before the collision we're going to have a factor of two. We're going to set this equal to the total energy after the collision which classically would be zero however now we have three particles and each of them has a rest mass i.e twice the mass of a proton at rest multiplied by c squared plus the mass of an individual pion multiply by c squared. We can solve this equation directly for the gamma factor. So let's do some cancellations. <laughs> Being equal to 1 plus m divided by 2m. We're given the mass of both of these particles so we can directly calculate our gamma factor 1 plus meaning that we're going to have a gamma factor of 1.072. Now remember, in the theory of relativity, the gamma factor is defined as 1 over the square root of 1 minus v squared over c squared, where c is the speed of light. We can magically rearrange this equation for the speed v, and v is equal to this expression. We can plug in directly the value for gamma, and if we do so correctly, we're going to get 0 0.360 times c, or around 36% of the speed of light. Just think about how different this is to a classical collision. In this totally inelastic collision, all of the kinetic energy of the incoming particles has been transferred to the rest mass of this pion. And we have essentially converted kinetic energy to mass. But where does this equation actually come from? To find this out, you need to watch this video right over here.